This topic is about the importance of something called ports. As I've said several times, computers only use numbers. Everything is translated to a number. Now, we've talked about the domain name a little bit. So, what we have to do though is there are more than just your web on the things. When you are doing a chat, that is an application. When you are visiting a web page, that's an application. When you are visiting a secure web page, that's an application. When you do send email and receive email, that's an application. And actually, on cell phones, text messaging are all applications. So, what you have at this point is something that has to say, what is the number for the application that you're using? These are called port numbers. Each program application has a number that has been assigned to it on there. Now there are 1,024 well-known ports. Okay, there are 1,024 well-known ports. When you talk to a regular web page, that is on port 80. An HTTP web page is port 80. A secure web page is port 443. When you send email, that talks to a server using a port. When you receive email, that uses a port number, that uses a port. Everything has a number. So if I were going to just type in HTTP colon slash slash www.microsoft.com, all of the browsers automatically append a colon 80 at it. So it's actually HTTP colon slash slash www.microsoft.com colon 80. If I type in HTTPS colon slash slash, then it adds a colon 443. HTTPS colon slash slash www.microsoft.com colon 443. That's how it knows what application on the server that you are running. The programmers will eventually write a, pro a chat program that uses a, one of the non-standard ports because those ports go up to several numbers bigger than 1024. So, what you'll need to know is eventually you're going to need to know how to send email using a port, how to receive email using a port, how to create an application that uses a web server using a port, how to, uh, what the port is for remote control, what the port is for all of these, there's several different ones, there's transfer files. So you will need to learn all these basic ports. They'll, people will actually ask networkers, what port is, does you use SMTP for? That's simple mail transport protocol, which allows you to send mail. Okay, so you have to know what port that is. So get a list, memorize that list, and know what the basic ports are. I will be sending uh, a list of the ports that I feel everybody should know and that will uh, when you get to that section in the course make sure that everybody that you learn those ports whether you're a networker or a programmer.